Hi there trainers, welcome back to Adamantian Gaming. Today we're going to be playing in the Catch Cup using this amazing team, which I barely have had a loss with, and I literally cannot believe it. Diggers Beat just slays everything in the coverage that Muck and Ninetales provide in the back. It just handles every team possible. As always, if you like this content, please don't forget to like, comment, and of course subscribe for future videos. But without further ado, let's get into the battles. Alright, getting on into the first battle to showcase this team. It's a team I just threw together, some of the first Pokemon that I got that I could evolve that were decent, and I'm so surprised at just how well it works. I've got a set of five here for you today, just a quick video just to showcase the team. So first battle in the lead, we're faced with a prime uh, Primeape, so what we do here is we just stay in, shield up their first move and try and get some energy on our Diggersby and threaten for a shield now that we have two fire punches stored up we do get their shield and then we make an immediate swap into a lowland muck keeping our hard counter for later in case they decide to swap out of the primate they go for the close combat and we're now two shields down but they've severely dropped their defense and because of that we're able to farm them all the way down and leave with a ton of energy they bring in their Pelper and we're going to bait for that last shield using our uh, Acid Spray. And we do get their last shield which is amazing and we're able to reach the Dark Pulse. So this should be doing huge damage or taking out that Pelper. Which it does. Boom! As Zelani likes to say. They bring in a Jellicent and we're going for the Dark Pulse and just can't quite get there. Unfortunately, Alolan Muck is going to go down now. But actually, they throw the Bubble Beam. We survive that and get the Dark Pulse off. That is massive. Jellicent takes huge damage. We swap since they're on their last Pokemon here and we're able to farm them down with the Alolan Ninetales for the win. Diggers be there. Didn't have to do too much, unfortunately. But he was vital in getting that first shield from Primeape, doing a good amount of damage to it as well. All right. So that's game one to us, well played to my opponent, and we are moving on to game number two. It's a real pain, I didn't get this team set up until maybe two days ago, and since then I've barely lost a match, it's ridiculous. Alright, a great lead in the start, we're resisting literally everything that that Alolan Marowak can throw, so we charge up a ton of energy. As the opponent turns into their Alolan Ninetales, we swap into our hard counter because they've locked themselves in. And we're just going to try an Acid Spray and farm them all the way down here. We successfully get their shield. And we're going to uh, match their shields here, knowing that we should be able to farm them down before they reach another move. Fingers crossed. And we are able to do so. Going for that Dark Pulse to threaten for their... Last shield. And we do get it. So at this point, and Muck has done its job amazingly. And the opponent gets scared and throws their energy with one HP left on the Muck. So that was a mistake on their part. But we'll take it. We'll come back. No, we won't come back. And we'll come in with Alolan Ninetales at this point. Mm, questionable choice. But hey, it works out in the end. The charms are doing huge damage, even though we're taking huge damage as well. And we're even able to reach that Weather Ball. So that's going to do a nice chunk of damage to the Marowak. Not quite taking it out, but we'll make a quick swap into our Diggersby and go straight for a Fire Punch, which will do the job. Alolan Marowak does go down, and they bring in a Hippo down. So we're going for the Hyper Beam now. Earthquake wasn't very useful when I had it on to start with. I made the swap to the Hyper Beam before, and Hyper Beam has just been incredible for this tur uh, this league. I powered on whatever it throws, we're going to shield it. And we should be able to get to the Fire Punch. Well, we're already at the Fire Punch. We charge up way too much energy for just whatever reason. <laughs> Doesn't really matter at this point. It's too slow to get to another move, and Fire Punch will be taking it out. Good go to my opponent. That's two for us here. See, on average with this team, I was going between four and five wins. Not even it was. Am. I think, yeah, I've had to be 
one bad set where I got maybe one win, but every other set I've played has been four to five wins. It's insane. A great lead here, faced with an Ariados, and the opponent throws way too quickly for this to be a lunge, so I called uh, the Cross Poison, which it was, so we'll take that no problem. Charge up a little bit of extra energy and swap out into our Alolan Muck versus their Politoed. Now, ideally, I should have went into the Ninetales here, but this works out as well. So the Poison Jabs are really starting to add up, and we're going to try and get one of their shields here with the Acid Spray. Which we might manage to do, considering they have an area dose that's quite weak. Uh, so yeah, we get their shield, and at this point we've lowered their defense, we've set it up for our nine tails to come in and just charm it down. We'll probably have to take one weather ball, do we? Yeah. We have to take one weather ball, do we choose to shield it? No, we just take it. That's what about weather ball, it's a surf, my bad, he already used surf. Yes, yeah, so nine tails tanks that, no problem at all, and farms it all the way down. They come back in with their area dose, but we're able to reach the weather ball at this point. And that should be getting their second shield. No, they choose to let it go. Brave of them. But we'll make a quick swap into our Diggersby, who is stacked with energy. Throw the fire punch immediately, which does take their last shield. And we reach our second fire punch just as they reach a move. This time we call the lunge, but it's a shadow sneak, so we could have taken that easy peasy considering Diggersby's part normal type, but it's okay. We have two shields and two Pokemon versus their one, and the opponent comes in with a Beedrill, which is also weak to the fire punches on Diggersby. So this is looking fantastic for us at this point. Shield up whatever it is. Again, we probably could have taken that considering Diggersby's part ground type, but it's all right. We're at two fire punches and this should be game over. Diggersby literally just popping off in this league. I couldn't believe how well it performed. Uh, and that's a good game to us. And my opponent, of course. Yeah. Three for three at this point. And moving on to game number four. Yeah. I won't be sad to see the end of this league, but it has been so much fun since... I luckily got this team put together. No planning, just pure luck, pure random, and it worked out so well. All right, we see the opponent come with a Primeape in this battle, so same as the first. And we're going to apply the same strategy here. We'll charge up a lot of energy. We'll shield. And we're gonna go for the Fire Punch once we get to two of them. Trying to force that shield or do huge damage. Then we'll immediately swap into our Alola Muck since it worked so well last time and we'll want to keep our hard counter for later in the battle just in case they swap out. We tank the Night Slash. We thought it was too fast to be the close combat, which it was. And the opponent swaps into something I didn't quite see, but we're going to go ahead and throw the Acid Spray to pull their defense down. And it's a Drift Blim. Perfect. We bait their last shield and this should be easy enough for Alola Muck to take. Shield up the Icy Wind most likely. Which it is, but considering we've double debuffed them and it's weak to Dark Pulse, this is going to pretty much one shot them. And down goes the Drift Blim. The opponent brings back in their Primeape, but these Poison Jabs, well, they would have added up a little bit more if we didn't get some lag, but hey, that's how the game goes sometimes. We come in with our Ninetales and just tank whatever it is. It's another Night Slash, no problem at all. And it should be another Night Slash. It's too quick to be a close combat at this point, I think. Yeah. And Nine Tails farms them all. Oh, they swap out quickly into their Cottony. So that's fine. We're going to go into our Digger's Bay and we're just going to start throwing these Fire Punches to apply massive damage. And we should be able to get to the next one before they get to a move, which we can. And that'll be taking out the Cottony. The opponent has no other choice except to come in with the Primeape, but we can just mud shot it down and Diggersby takes that win. Good game to my opponent. That's 4 for 4 at this point. So yeah, as you can see, the coverage that Diggersby has in this league is amazing. Handles everything, and then, you know, the Nine Tails and the Lola Muck to handle any Charmers and pretty much everything else. Charm can chunk away at most things, as you know. 
All right, so the last battle, I believe. Yep, Thorn comes in with Ariados. And this time, I think they have charged up to a lunge, but we let it go anyway. We know we can survive it, no problem. And then they swap out into their Pelipper. So at this point, we're just going to go straight for the Hyper Beam, because most people expect Diggersby to have Earthquake, right? Whew, huge damage. Now we'll swap out and charm this sucker down. We'll have to take a Weather Ball. That's not too bad. Nine Tails can handle that, no problem. One more charm should finish off the Pelipper. Oh, but it doesn't quite. So we are probably going to have to give a shield here, are we? No, we just take it as well. Okay. Nine Tails handles that. Farms Pelipper all the way down. And what will they come in with now? Back in with their Ariados, maybe? Back in with their Ariados. But we're able to reach the Weather Ball. So that works out really well for us. The Ariados gets minimal farm. And we get their shield. Their first shield, that is. So we'll come back in with Diggersby to... Well, we're going to shield up their move, and then we're going to try and go for Fire Punch here. Nope, they swap into a Fairy, but we're ready for it. We've got a Lolan Muck in the back, Poison Jab, and Acid Spray. We'll handle this thing, no problem at all. Double debuffing their defense here. And the Poison Jabs are just going to absolutely shred this thing now. Bit of lag there, unfortunately. And that's okay, though. Because of that, we're just going to let the Alolan Muck go down. And we're going to come in and get some energy on our Diggersby to throw at the Ariados. We're going to try and go for two and then throw, so we can uh, throw both uh, simultaneously, basically. Or one after the other, whatever the word is for that. And Diggersby takes yet another win. I swear, it was getting to the point where it was almost... A bit harsh, but it was almost funny. Every time I'd get a win, I was like, no way, I can't believe this again. This team's ridiculous. <laughs> Aye, so if you've got a chance to do so uh, in the next day or so until this uh, week ends, I would definitely, definitely recommend trying out this squad if you've got the Pokemon available. I know Catch Cup's a little bit random, and it's just whatever you've been able to catch during the previous week uh, whilst it's been on, but... I swear, I've had, like, nothing but success with this team. Unfortunately, my only regret is, like I said, I've only had it for about two days to be usable. It took a while to get them all caught and leveled up, etc. But, yeah, it was amazing. But, yeah, as always, uh, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and please feel free, as I said before, to like, comment, or subscribe. Peace.